I hope you guys are ready for some sick Pompano action. Oh, that's him. putting out some uh, a, a decent amount of surf fishing videos lately but this is gonna be the first one where I really kind of go into detail and show you guys the exact rigs and tackle that I'm using uh, you always know the rods and reels that's in the description but we had an insane pompano bite we caught well over 50 pompano between me and my buddy Victor uh, from Land Shark Outdoors I'm sure you've seen his channel if not there's a link in the description below to that uh, but we had an insane day and instead of showing you a million pompano I'm going to show you some pompano action, but first we're going to go over the rigs I'm using now There's two kind of two different ways to go over this You can go get a pre-made rig and there are a lot of really really good pre-made rigs out there uh, Like Caleb local guy makes a great rig nothing wrong with it uh, another J&J &J rigs out there They're awesome rigs. I'm gonna Show you in this video though how I make my rigs. That's just kind of something I like to do. It's fun. If you like tying rigs, uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with it because you can get super creative with uh, the floats and then you mess with the distance your hooks are, the hooks you're using, all sorts of stuff. But real quick, we're going to go right over here and show you the tackle I'm using. Right here is everything I use for surf fishing. Along with a shameless plug for my new clothing line, Janto Gear, available at jantogear.com. There's the bull shark with Kobe, the design, tarp and crash and some bait and a wave, and the snook with some little stealthy Kubera snapper hidden in there as well. Uh, all that's available with free shipping on my website, jantogear.com and h2ovinyldesigns.com. So, pompano fishing, let's get into the tackle that I'm using. First, I'll give you a brief overview of the, what tackle I'm using and then how we put it all together. So the hooks, I use either of these VMC offset circle hooks from size number one all the way to one O's and two O's, depending on the size fish that are around. Uh, one O's are probably the most, what I use 90% of the time. I just don't have any that are in the package for you. Uh, the swivel right there, just any little swivel will work for you. I use these tsunami swivels. There's the number four right there at the top of that. And then the snaps, you use a little snap for your lead, like you can see right there. And then there's the number for that for you as well, in case you want to get the exact ones I'm using. Uh, also, floats. Lots of fun with floats. Uh, you got them at your local tackle shops. I get them at Strike Zone and Black Dog. And I just kind of mess around with them. You figure out what you like, what works best. And leads. That is everything you need. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I lied. Line. I use... 30 pounds tsunami fluorocarbon. If it's really clear water, I might drop down to 20, but I'm mostly using 30 pound tsunami fluorocarbon. Um, that's everything you need. And really when you go out, you don't need to bring all this. All you need to bring is this one little teeny box that has some extra tackle in it and some pre-tied rigs and these little baggies. Uh, and then a handful of weights or leads. And that is all the tackle now. So that's everything we're gonna use. And next I'm gonna show you how I put it all together. So we got all this pretty tackle here, and now we're gonna show you how I put it all together to make one pompano rig. So at the top, we have our swivel. Obviously off the top part of the swivel is gonna be your main line. Uh, I suggest using braid or something that you can cast very far. That's the reason I use braid. And then off the bottom comes your leader. In this case, the 30 pound tsunami fluorocarbon. And then the, the magic measurement that I like to use for my rigs is 12 to 15 inches, we'll say. Between every knot, it's about 12 to 15 inches. So we're gonna go down the rig to our first uh, our first branch line, and that's where you're gonna go ahead and tie, I believe it's called a spider hitch. Uh, it's a whatever you use to make a chicken rig or a loop. And I go ahead and cut the loop close to the main line. So now instead of having a big, a big loop, it's gonna be cut and you only have one branch line coming off, which also doubles the size. So you really only have to make your loop half as long as you want the branch line to be. Uh, at the branch line, I then slide on a float and then tie a hook on and at the top one, I use these big floats, these big teardrop floats and I hot glue it onto the eye of the hook. 
Um, this isn't something I made up. This is something that I've seen people do, some very successful Pompano fishermen do, and they even sell some rigs like this out there. Um, but it works very well. So that's what I've been doing only on my top hook. I use that big float and rig it like that. Next down, I use three hooks. So some people are gonna use two, some people are gonna use three. We've even used four before on the boat, but it's a little too much to handle on the beach. Uh, so again, go down 12, 15 inches to your next hook. Um, and I use the small, I just use a smaller float. Again, there's a lot of different floats you can use. You'll find them all at your local tackle stores. Check them out, get a little variety of colors and sizes. Uh, here we have a glow in the dark one. I've actually never even used it before, but got that with a little glow bead on there. And we're gonna try that out uh see how that one works on there but the second float that i do is again a smaller float and then we'll go down to the last one the third hook that i use or the third uh the third loop is either going to be again a small float if there's a lot of pompano around and i'm really targeting pompano but if it's a slower surf fishing day this bottom one will not have any float on it because i will be kind of saving that one for the whiting Whiting and croakers stick more on the bottom than the pompanos do, and the float can actually pull your bait up out of the area of where those fish are gonna be laying. So, pretty simple, but at the same time, you can do so much different variations with all these different floats, and you can always get these white floats and you can paint them. You can do tons of different stuff on them. Get real creative. Uh, from that last one, you go down another 12, 15 inches, and that's where your snap goes, and you, then snap on your lead on the beach. Uh, I use either a four ounce pyramid sinker or a two ounce uh, spudnik lead. The four ounce pyramid and the two ounce spudniks, what they do is they give you enough to enough weight or enough uh, anchor of an anchor point to actually set the hook. So even on the calmer days, you don't need to be near your rod. You got these little teeny sharp circle hooks. When that thing gets hit, the pompano then drags the line till it gets tight. This lead is plenty enough pressure to set your hook for you. So even on the calm days, I won't drop down to a two ounce pyramid or bank sinker. I like using these four ounce pyramids or on the really rough days when there's a lot of current, the Spudnik leads uh, hold really well too. And you can look up those to see what those are. Um, but that's it, that's your rig. Uh, go down to the beach, try it out, figure out what different uh, hooks you like, what different floats, and we'll get into some pompano fishing action now. What's happening guys, Joey and Tanelli here, and we're here, we are here with Victor from Land Shark, very first fish of the day. We haven't even got set up, but we're in the process of getting our rods out. First rod out, got slammed, nice keeper pump, and we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these rods out, and then we'll get back to you. God, I can't even get them out fast enough. There's the pompano, he's just surfing in right now, he hasn't really fought too hard. Once he hits that trough, I'm sure he'll pull a little harder. There we go. That one's a little small. We're gonna go ahead and let that one go. Victor, you gotta get the rods out and help. I can't even get rods out fast enough. This is a solid fish. This is a good one. Woo! Epic surf chew. It's running it down the beach. Wave. That's a solid one. Very nice. Got one, got one. Victor, get some rods in the water. God, I cannot keep up with these. Got those two out now. We cannot get all four rods out. And Victor's putting more out. This is gonna be absolutely insane. All right, it's right there, coming through the shore break. Stay on, buddy. Yeah, little we'll pump. Okay, for the first time, I'm gonna have all four rods out. There it goes. It's game time. 
Victor's got a couple out also now. Now it's really gonna get crazy. You gotta really make sure your spikes are in the ground good. I got these tsunami spikes. Otherwise you're gonna end up losing a rod. Going back on. Okay, so it looks like you might be going over this other rod. Super slacked out. Lots of action out on the beach this morning, guys. Hope you're not getting bored of pompano fishing because this is freaking going off. Coming up over here. Look at that, I went through all my rods. That's where line management's really important. I'm not saying I, oh, come on. That's a solid one. Definitely not saying I don't ever get tangled. But if you pay attention, you can cut it down a lot. Victor's got one that rod just went over. Get this one back out. Victor, we're on an epic chew. Victor's got him, Victor's got him. Oh, that didn't show up in my video, don't worry. I don't know if mine was recorded. All right, that means they're coming through again. Maybe this time from the south? I don't know, maybe they're doing circles. But we got two more rods on this side and then four more rods on that side. Here, I'll drop it down, you go over it. That way he can go right over that rod. And keep fighting his fish. There we go, Pompanejo! Oh, this thing almost took the rod in. Keeper. And the combo right there. Blanched fleas too, right? Yeah. So we got a little blanched versus live flea throwdown going down here. Well, I was gearing up another one. One of the rods got whacked. Victor got him. No. Solid. Yeah, hooked me up. Another solid pompano for the day. So this is interesting. Joey fishes three hooks, whereas I only fish two. They got us running extremes in no cardio today for sure. Yeah, dude, we're doing suicides, like gym suicides. I I was thinking, like, it'd be cool to like wear a Fitbit or something. See <laughs> how far you actually go. Pompano fishing. Coming into the trough. I don't think we're gonna have to measure this one. No. Drag puller. He just had that rod bent pretty hard. He looked good. Right in that shallow water. Ooh. There we go. That'll do it. He's a good one. There we go. Pumping out. There we go. Keep her pumping out. Very nice pompano. Pompanoes! Chewing! Oh yeah. All right guys, here is the final catch for the day. Loaded up on some beautiful pompano. Big shout out to Victor, land shark fishing. Half of those. Maybe not half, maybe a third. Joey did have a lot more rods out. He, he, Flames on the rod. He, he caught some pompano. We both did pretty well today. Uh, he's done a lot of filming today too. Make sure you check his channel out. If you're not already subscribed to him and you're subscribed to me, I'm honored. But check out his channel. There's a lot of the same fishing I do and some other stuff as well. But again, we got that Igloo Cooler Igloo Trailmate right here. And that's what we got.